Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Liz Grumblers. I'm here with another first try. Gonna have a first look at a game that's just released uh, yesterday, August 26, uh, 2024. Uh, and thanks to the developers uh, and some other PR contacts, I got keys for this. So appreciate that very, very much. And we're going to, uh, after that glorious intro, just do what we usually do. Start a new game, go in pretty much uh, blank, and uh, see what's what. Uh, looking forward to this one. Uh, tutorial. Play a series of tutorials that teach you all of the important aspects of the game. Familiarize yourself with the certain parts of the game in multiple segments. Yeah, let's go. All right. Uh, I'm quite excited for this one. It's a sort of colony management... Uh, with a little bit of exploring with some trucks and things and uh, it's all set in a post-apocalyptic world uh, So yeah, I don't know exactly What threats and dangers and challenges await us? Uh, let's see first try right. That's the way to do it uh, I got the uh, everything more or less by default. I turned off some camera shake setting uh, V-Sync is on 60 FPS Sm smooth <laughs> Which is more than can be said for me coughing and wheezing. Aha. Uh -huh. Huzzah. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm going to look over your shoulder while you help our settlers set up a new home. Um, by the way, I'm Ella. Well, nice to meet you, Ella. Zone attributes. Provided the zone has been revealed, the attributes of a habitable zone currently being viewed are displayed above the map. Okay. It is worth taking a look at this before beginning with settling. The individual pieces of information can be clicked on to use the camera to jump around different space. Okay, got it. Used to meet you. Global information. Uh, mission tasks and warnings for the entire game map are displayed in this area. This information is always available regardless of what you're currently looking at. Okay. Vehicle controls. Uh, select one or more vehicles and use move the with the right mouse button. You can use our pathfinder to explore the wasteland. Send it off and try to find a site for another settlement. All right. What are we looking at here then? Swampy land, some buildings, potentially some good terrain up here. On my way. Let's go. We have found a new zone. Take a look at it when you get a chance. All right. It might be worth it to build a new settlement on it. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, all right. Got it. Colonize a zone with fertile soil. I mean, this looks pretty good up here. Can we drive all the way out there? That's actually an old wind, wind farm On right there. my way. I see. That's what it wants us to do. Drive up here. Let's go. This is groovy, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, that appeared out of nowhere. Build new settlement. Uh, sure. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we just found a location in the center of our settlement. Once chosen, location cannot be changed. Place the settlement center n uh, near key resources such as water, trees, scrap, and ruins. Okay. Water. I like it. Water, trees, scrap, and ruins. 
Oh, wow, this is massive, this area. What's this super green area here? I don't know, here, what about here between two lakes? What could possibly off, go wrong? we have to ensure survival. We need water so that we won't die of thirst. Build a jetty by a body of water and assign enough workers to secure our supply. Okay, got it. Uh, action menus. Okay, game speed, got it. Tutorial the jetty. Uh, construction. Okay. Oh, fishing! They got me hooked already. Okay. Jetty. Uh, da, 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 da. Ensure survival. Let's go. So, let's see. Is that how you do it? Body of water. Boom. Got it. Assign water carrier zero or three. Okay. Haven's End Jetty. Oh, that's what this is called already. But I can rename it. Okay. Awesome. Grumbles End. Let's hope not. Uh, we can set symbols for it. Uh, oh, it's Lighthouse one. I like that one. Oh, no. Shaking hands in the shape of a heart. That's cool. And what a nice red color. Go. All right. Groovy. No workers available. Uh, do I do this? I guess. Three? The jetty pumps water as long as workers are assigned to it. Make sure there's always enough water available. If the supply runs low, assign more settlers to work at the jetty. Sounds good. Water alone is not enough to survive. A foraging we need to hut. Eat too. Build a foraging hut cool. near trees and assign workers to it so that they can search for food. All right. There was a setting, uh, an option for sharpening. I'm going to try turning that on. So that things are a bit... I uh, don't know. That hasn't really made a difference. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Build a foraging hut. Build food foraging. Uh, where's a good okay so I guess somewhere out here in the woods is a good place to forage next to the woods I don't want to destroy the woods but boom okay sounds good waiting for master builders okay where's my master builders assign three foragers oh here they come this is cool. Awesome. Let's go. So, uh, this one is described as... I probably should have started with that, but you know me. I do things in whatever random order. Uh, in End Zone 2 is a post-apocalyptic survival colony builder uh, where you embark to secure humanity's survival after a cataclysmic disaster. Discover and repopulate the last habitable grounds while the survival of your people hinges on your wits foresight and resilience in a harsh unforgiving world uh, i'm pretty sure everyone should probably be quite worried produces food as long as there are sufficient resources in its okay. vicinity we still got if nine available workers are ever okay. used up nice. you can relocate the work area of a foraging hut at any time ah okay cool which is forge production efficiency food plant stock Okay, awesome. Let's go. What's the little binoculars? Focus in on it. Okay, that just makes us building materials to erect new buildings. All right. The woodcutter's hut cuts down trees and produces wood out of them. If you run out of trees at some point, you can also relocate your work area. I'm going to go over here so that we're not taking away from our foraging area straight away. Although we do have a massive place down here, so... I want to see what these old ruins have got. That's going to be a, another thing, I guess. All right. It's quite far away, but I don't know. It's not that far away. It's, that's, no, it's not. It's like a stone throw. I'm not sure when this was in the building menus. It looked like it was... Uh, uh, a good fertile land or whatever. Here we go. Here come the builders. Or the builder. Got Lan and Gamel in here. Let's go. 
Boop, boop, boop. Nice. I know I probably don't need the tutorial as such, but it's always nice to see when you first ever touch a game, like what have they, what thought and effort have they put into it? And how does it, uh, how does it flow? How does it bring you into the game? I like it. Okay, so this is Bill, uh, assigned two workers. Awesome. Your woodcutter's hut is already producing. By the way, Let's go. a production site can produce faster when it stands near a stockhouse. Oh. We don't have any stockhouses yet, but the town center has the same effect. Ah, okay. Hopefully I didn't build it too far away then. <laughs> Looking back on it. Uh, what does it say? 18 a minute. Worker efficiency, two out of five. Stock. Besides wood, the most important building material is scrap. Build a scrapyard which collects scrap that is lying around or extracts it from old ruins. Okay. Scrapyard. Boop. Uh, what are these? Yeah, I don't know about these green areas. I haven't learned about that yet. Okay, here we go. Here's scrap and old ruins. Bang. Just put it over there. Great. Not too close because we probably need housing and stuff like that. I wonder if we need perimeters. I have no idea like what kind of existential threats beyond the environment and food and stuff there is in this. I'm looking forward to finding out. I feel like there's going to be something. I'm at the wheel. Oh, so this is my access point to my location. Okay. Let's go. So we're going to go exploring with that soon as well, I guess. Okay, that's a bunch of fuel and other supplies that we have. I don't know why this is flashing. Maybe... Oh, because it's still waiting for us to build it. That's... Let's go. What else have we got here? A fishery, a farm, an upgraded farm, a tree nursery, recycler, plantation, swamp farm. Oh, wow. Okay. Upgraded plantation, upgraded lumberjack, a recycling center. Uh, workshop, weaving mill, coal kiln, tailor's workshop, brickworks, upgraded workshop. Okay, vulcanizer. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get Spock here with us. Iron smelter, copper smelter, lead foundry. Clay pit, iron mine, copper mine, lead mine, iodine mine. Cool. Okay, loads of stuff. Housing. Community buildings. Uh oh, graveyard, marketplace, pharmacist, pharmacy. Okay, uh, crematory. Uh, campfire, pavilion, park, bathhouse. Okay. Uh, assign workers to the scrapyard. Well done. Now the sediment will be supplied with scrap. Until it runs out, that is. Don't nice. forget that you can move the work area in the scrapyard. Oh, there's clay there. Okay, I didn't see that before. Awesome. Uh, okay. Our people are still sleeping beneath the stars. Let's build dwellings and create living space for more inhabitants. Okay, I like it. So, uh, let's see. Living space. Tents. Plus five. Okay, and we have 15 people. So, one, two. Oh, and they get different ratings of, like, happiness and stuff from it. Okay. Three. There we go. Oh, this is Bill 4. <laughs> uh, all right, then here. There we go. Don't know if we're taking more people in, maybe. Construction progress. Nice. Oh, goodness. Well, we don't have any children yet to look after. That's probably a good thing for the beginning. In the beginning, 
place as a blueprint. Oh, that's neat. So you can actually lay things out and then see if you like the look of it before committing. That's a really cool feature. I like that. What else we got here? We've got flower beds, decorations, benches, flags, bushes, trees. That's all sorts of stuff. That's awesome. Tasks, cut wood, as long as gather they have scrap. Enough living space, our okay. settlers will reproduce and have children. Uh oh. Our settlement is thriving. Yes. Let's build a recycler to produce plastic. Okay. If the scrapyard is located nearby, the recycler will produce faster. Okay. Well, if, if wait, what if the scrapyard is nearby? Okay, here's the scrapyard. So let's put it uh, here then, just next to the scrapyard. I don't know if we have to build paths for them, if they're going to put roads down themselves. That's so cool though, parks and pavilions and stuff, statues, wishing tree, what the... Cool. Neat. Alright, we're on it. At the moment, they're just running, the builders are really eager. Charge! Kind of makes sense, I suppose. They're bringing in and processing a load of scrap. And as they're separating stuff out, we'll get plastic from it. I like that. That's cool. Music's pretty groovy. Buildings that process resources work faster when they are located near their source. The recycler requires scrap, so it benefits from being placed near the scrapyard. Got it. The workshop not only needs scrap, but wood as well. Oh. It's best if both resources are produced nearby. Mm. But don't worry if you're not able to place it perfectly. The workshop will be able to do its work anyway. Yeah, it's that's a bit of a toughie. That's a bit of a toughie, I'm not going to lie. Let's build a workshop. So what we can do is we can put it nearby the scrapyard. Didn't want to ruin all the scrap here, but anyway, it looks like we don't have much choice. Um, oop. Um, but as for being near the wood, I guess we could have got another one there maybe. Can I cancel that? No. Operation stopped. Close. Focus. Demolished building. There you go. Let's uh, try that again. I actually want to try this blueprint thing. So if I put this here, so it can benefit from the scrapyard, that's where the little plus symbol comes up. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, something's happening. Uh oh. What's happening? Everything's frozen except my people are moving around. No. I can see tiny little animated things on the screen, but nothing else. Uh oh. Might have broken it. Uh oh. Man. I'm guessing the game's kind of hung. Huh. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. A cup of coffee. Oh no! I just loaded the game back up again. Load game. Ah! It would appear there's no auto save. Don't! Don't! Ah! 
Well, time to write a feedback report. I'll be right back after these messages. All right, we're back. I uh, had to start a brand new game, obviously, because nothing had saved. Uh, I sped it up and got us all the way on speed three to the point where we were working last, the workshop. Uh, that is just completed. I'm going to assign two Very workers good. to that. Now we have plastic and tools, things which are needed in some buildings for production. All right. They are also important to be able to build more complex buildings in the first place. The Makes sediment sense. is growing, and soon nice. there won't be enough food. Oh, and water. 17 and three build kids. A Holy cow. To support the foraging hut. Guy, turn it, the, the recording off for a couple of moments, and suddenly we've got three children. Uh, build another fishery, assign fishermen, and assign water carriers three or four. Okay, so, but before we do any of that, we click the little cog and we'll press save game. Create new save game. Grumbles first try. End zone two. Boop. All right, there we go. Continue session. So let's just double check when we click on load now. We now have a session. <laughs> All right, so I sent them the feedback saying, I think you should have an auto save. And if you don't have an auto save, you should prompt people to make a save. Uh, all right, so we want a second fishery. Now, I think it would be kind of cunning if we had uh, one over here on this pond. Missing resources. If resources are missing, we attempt to place a building and automatically be placed as a blueprint. Uh, as soon as we have enough resources. Oh, okay. So we're... Okay, I got it. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it uses the blueprint thing anyway. Interesting. That's kind of where it hung last time, showing us that blueprint thing. Uh, we need to add one more person as a water carrier, I believe. Yeah, four or four. We need one more fisher. Uh, of course, this was a water carrying thing. Uh, extraction thing, not a fishing thing. So there's my mind derping. As soon as I see open water and uh, uh, a dock, I assume it's for fishing, <laughs> not for water gathering. Good job, brain. Good job. Um, all right. Assign fishermen, build a fishery. So we're just waiting now for uh, five tools. Okay. And I assume those are going to be created at the warehouse, the workshop rather. Excellent. Uh, and we currently have four. Nice. We need one more. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we haven't got into building any roads yet. I did see that there's a little road menu, but we're not able to do that yet. I think we needed tools. It costs one tool to build the road, so that's an interesting way of doing it. Okay. How are we doing on these resources? Pay construction costs and start building. Ah, so it put it down as a blueprint, but it didn't start building it even when the resources were automatically there. It waited for me to go and click on the blue arrow. Okay, that is interesting. So that's going to be, hmm, that's going to be intriguing. So in a way, it's good because you can set up a whole lot of stuff with blueprints and then pick and choose the priority that you want to, you know, finish them at. On the flip side of it, I was kind of expecting, that's okay, it's just having to learn a different approach, uh, that once I had enough resources, you know, most games are like, hey, you've got enough resources now, we can make the thing for you. Um, so we go and make it. In this case, not. Not not a criticism. Just a different approach. Alright, fishery is done. Assign the two fishermen. Is more effective than the foraging hut, it constantly uses up tools. For this reason, the fishery produces faster when tools are produced near it. Oh. Well, now we also information cloth is produced for that could have been used for earlier. To do okay. This, build a plantation <laughs> on fertile soil, as that's the only way to create fields. 
Oh, here we go. So we're going to learn about the feral soul now. Here you go. Beautiful. I can't get two in there no matter what I do. Boom. Uh, build one plantation and assign one gardener. Okay. And we have a storage thing activated next to it. Okay, cool. Cool. And this is close enough, so this is activating as a storage thing, giving it a green symbol, and this one isn't. So there we go. So these are getting these pluses activated because they're near to that building. Okay, interesting. It hasn't told us about making uh, storage depots yet. I mean, it's brought up the topic, but it hasn't told us to make one yet. Instruct the plantation to lay out a cultivation area and assign gardeners. Okay, awesome. Let's go. I gotta say, I like the vibe of this. Uh, I quite like the uh, some of the artwork. Uh, it's cool. You can zoom in and out quite well. See people going about their lives. In fact, you can zoom in real close, which is groovy. And you can adjust the camera angle. So nice. All right, here we go. Plantation. Got one gardener. Instruct them to make a planting zone. Uh, okay. Oh. So I guess it can be as big as allowed in this circle. Like that? Well done. Up till now, we can only grow fibers. But if we find more types of seeds, oh. then we can cultivate them on the plantation too. We've got to find the seeds. Nice. Settlement overview and resource bar. All information about the currently viewed settlement is displayed here. Includes the status of those resources stored. Okay. Events and warnings, missions, feedback tool. Neat. The fibers are crafted into cloth at a weaving mill. This requires. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Uh, weaving mill. Um, it, where is it? What is it? Oh, this is going to benefit from being not too far away from there. Okay. So, boop. Okay, luckily we have enough of all the materials. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah, graphically, it's pretty cool. I like it. Maybe some of the vegetation is a little bit dominant in places. So it's a little bit hard with the lighting to see uh, a couple of the building pieces. But I'm sure that will change over time as I get more familiar. Probably depends what angle I'm looking at as well. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. <laughs> producing 28 43 a minute holy cow but it needs these tools okay marauder's mound we're named this time oh wait what no grumbles end zone <laughs> oh sugar I didn't press apply. Silly me. Okay. Grumbles. No, not like that. Oh my god, I can't I don't can't type for anything today. Grumbles in zone with the little heart shaped hands and the reddish colour. Go. Okay. Uh bum, 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 bum. let's have a weaver. Great. If We've got the no workers left. Ever runs low. You can pause the work at the weaving mill, saving valuable drops. Okay, what, 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 what? If the water supply ever runs low, okay. Okay, so they're using water in, in the processing. Gotcha. <gasps> That's neat. I like the way these things are fitting Always together like that. that there is enough living space for the settlement to keep growing. We're going to need all the helping hands we can get. Okay, more housing is what you're saying. A 
build three more. Oh, we wanted four. I didn't even read the number. <laughs> oh, the clay deposit is there, so we should avoid uh, trashing that. I can get a mansion that we're going to need more water. Another water jetty. But let's see, let's try, you know, we're playing the tutorial for a reason, so let's try not to be a smart aleck and skip ahead. I do like uh, being able to zoom this all around and look at things from different sides and that. It's very cool. Yep, 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 yep. Neat. more housing. People are probably going to want to come and live in my end zone, surely. So I put this workshop here after that crash and with the idea of being we could put another lumber thing if we needed one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once the builders are done. Well, we only have one child now? What the? Did they mature that quickly? Or did something bad happen? I didn't get notified of anything bad happening. What was the question mark here? Missing resources. Resources are missing needed for production. Huh. Oh, it's missing water? Interesting. I've got loads of water though. Do I need more people to carry water? Possibly. Unclear. Oh, I see. My builders probably had to go down here to my uh, access point and get the materials. New instructions. It's so cool. I love it with the little winches and cranes and stuff. God, I imagine if we could do something with this wind farm. Some of it looks like it might be repairable. We need more power. Okay, seven of eight, here we go. Eight of eight going up. Thanks to our joint efforts, right. our little settlement will soon be thriving and our stock houses will be full. If the storage site is full, it needs to be expanded. There here we is go, a storage, storage site building. For water. One for food and one for all other materials. Okay. Place storage sites near your production sites so that they can produce quickly. Got it. Okay. Storage sites. Uh, so we need two cisterns, two food depots, and two material depots. Okay. So cisterns I want to have over here near the food production. One there. And one there. I don't really like the idea of having them right next to each other, actually, but... Mm. Okay. This one we're going to put here, the food depot. And the materials depot. I guess we'll put it over here near the... The workshop and all that stuff, because we're going to put another lumberjack in. Uh, over here, too. When we get enough workers. Let's go! Let's go, tutorial hour. We've got about half an hour left. From this point oh you know what i should do i should save it i should save the game <laughs> 
I like this. I like seeing the construction underway. Always enjoy that in these kind of games. That's groovy. I like that it highlights the things it's associated with as well. Dum de dum de dum. Just walking around with a bucket. I'll spill it all walking like that, son. Let's go one sister up. Nice. So that automatically takes over all of my water storage. Okay. Or most of it. Oh, it looks like all of it. Okay. Oh, I had to do that pay thing again. We had all the materials. Okay. So again, you got to keep an eye on that. You know, okay, I don't have enough yet, so it won't let me click on it until we've got five more plastics. Interesting. So it kind of is prioritization. Something, yeah, with my short-term memory glitches... It's going to be interesting to place it. I'd be like that. Why have they got no fish? Why are they not fishing? Where's my fisher? They'd be like... <laughs> Chat will be like, you didn't pay for them to finish the blueprint. <laughs> At least you do see the arrow listed there. Either grayed out or lit up if it's ready. It's kind of good. I kind of wish there was an option though where you could say, yeah, just do it anyway. Do it when the materials are ready. I'd rather have that and then they have one of the things that are already built. Uh, where's a good example here? Where you can make this a priority. Prioritize this building. Now that's in terms of like labor and carrying and stuff like that, I guess. But I feel like games that let you build stuff um, with blueprints or otherwise should give you an option to say okay here's one one through ten or something even if it was limited to like one through three or however you wanted to do it for balance but like these are the these are the buildings I want built in this order go state of health 50% Average health of all settlers, 50%. Uh, a low level of health increases the risk of an outbreak of sickness, settlers housing situation, as well as various external factors influence the health of the settlement. Oh no, this is where if something breaks out here, they're all right next to each other in these tents. Confidence of 54% has an effect on inhabitants of a settlement. It's influenced by the settlement's housing situation, external factors. If the level of confidence is poor, they complain more often and might possibly make demands or leave the settlement. Oh no. Radioactive contamination of settlers. Oh my goodness. The higher the environmental exposure to radiation, the faster settlers in a specific settlement are contaminated. Different types of protective clothing can counteract this. The more protective clothing settlers wear, the better they are protected. Uh oh. That's going to be a thing then. Okay. So here we go. We can build this one now. The food depot. And this one is now missing five more of the plastic. So it's kind of this plastic, it's this recycling, I think. Yeah. I think, because the, what's the symbol here? Plastic recycler, yeah. So I've got five available workers. I could put some additional workers there. One. That produces three a minute, two a minute, three a minute. There we go. Let's go. Cheating again. I'm not doing what the tutorial told me. <laughs> Great big cheat. OK, 
Okay, I think we're using it in the tools because for the fishery and that as well, so that's why it's not going, it's not straight through. Let's get some more people working in here. Get scrap levels up. Need a better recycler. And more tools. We just put more people everywhere. <laughs> And then wonder why we can't fulfill the next step in the tutorial. Hey, it's done. Nice. So let's see. Food depot. Great, great, great. 26 people, 14 kids. What? Progress until the next child has grown up and can be used as a laborer. Wow, okay. So that's an interesting thing. It feels like this, so this day-night cycle. And it's sort of saying night number four. So there's an interesting element here with the child growth. Overwrite. Uh, season three. Mm -hmm. Any case, we don't need to make three million save files. Here we go. One child became an adult laborer. Okay. Oh, sugar. Two food deposits. Oh, I am a buffoon. Um, okay. Build. Uh, food storage. Okay. Let's have another one over here. Is there anything that buffs it? Nothing. Okay. We'll put that there. And then material deposits. Oh, man. I'm so silly. I didn't even see that that was a uh let's just put this one here There's something in between oh actually you know what i just thought of something uh we wanted to have something that helped our woodcutters right okay we'll put it up there all right uh, let's speed it up a little bit. I normally do these on, like, speed number one, but right now we're literally just waiting for resources to be gathered and processed and stuff. This is good though because now we can split the food up a little bit so i'm worried about like what if sickness breaks out or if there's a fire you know flooding event or something i don't know what could possibly go wrong here yeah these plastic bottles are definitely a plastic bottleneck <laughs> All right, we're nearly at the 45. Okay, that can be built now. Let's go. What's next? How far can we get in the first hour? It's kind of cool starting to, like, bring life and civilization back in where everything's collapsed. Each stock site increases okay, the maximum number of resources that can be stockpiled in a settlement. If the stocks are full, our production sites cease their work. Vicinity oh. to a stockhouse and easy access are important features for production buildings. Mm -hmm. A production site produces more effectively when it is connected to the town center by a road. Okie dokie. Alright, roads. Here we go. Roads. Road tutorial. Gravel path. Construction cost zero. Okay. Hold shift to do a diagonal. That's interesting. 
Um, okay, so we got this one. And then... Like that. And like that. I wanted to kind of do a... And this one's gonna need a... Over here to the town, I guess. Cool. Uh, building connected to towns under via roads five. Oh wait, what? Uh, why th would that be considered connected? Would these be considered buildings in that sense, in that context? Don't know. I tried to leave it so that there would be a gap here between the houses, but I think that was in our first playthrough. Super. The there more buildings go. you connect via your road network, the more stable the production at your settlement Let's is. Let's go. To be. I've made great roads. They're a little bit too straight when in places. Our thrives. It also uses up more resources. Luckily, we can regrow our wood. That's what we have the tree nursery for. Let's go tree nursery time. Nursing them trees. Here is a nice green fertile looking area. Like so. Roads, of course. Boom, straight shot. Okay, awesome. Love it. Neat, neat, neat. There's a certain, like, Project Zomboid vibe about it. <laughs> Even though there aren't hordes of zombies. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Speed up a little bit. Let's see if we can get past the. Oh, here we go. Boom. Tree nursery is grown. Awesome. The tree nursery will plant trees within its work area that can be used again by the woodcutting lodge. Let's that way, go. we create a healthy loop. Road link to town is activated, so it gets 10% activity buff. Nice. The needles of the Geiga counters begin to swing harder. A sharp increase in radiation is going to occur soon. Uh oh. We should start to get sufficient protective clothing ready. Oh no. So oh, it. No. Oh, okay. We have to act fast. We need to produce protective clothing to shield us against the radiation. And for that, we need coal. Okay. Where am I gonna. Okay, so we're gonna build a kiln? Gotcha, okay. Where is where is he gonna get a buff from? He's gonna get a buff from being near the storage depot and the logging camp up here. Uh okay, cool. Wanna put it on the fertile land? We'll put it just right next to there. Sounds good. I'm gonna build some more road. And that connect these buildings up perfect neat look at this i love it we got our little thriving settlement so far coolio okay let's go speed two 
So if we can get to this, I'd love to. I, I want to get to this radioactive circumstance. V3. That's cool. Probably could have put that tree nursery up here as well, maybe. Coal is made from wood. When wood gets scarce, assign more settlers to the woodcutter's hut, or build a second one. Okay. Woodcutting lodge. Okay. How are we doing on wood? Mm, we're okay. We do have spare workers, though, so we might as well just bump that all the way up to the top. You know, since he, she made it sound so urgent, and the other guy, let's just bump that right up. The tailor's shop can make protective masks out of coal and cloth. Okay. They ought to be sufficient for the time being. Our settlement already produces cloth, and we have just taken care of getting coal. Yes. The water is running out. Oh. If nothing changes, it'll be the end of us. We've okay. got to do something. Okay. Uh, achieve an increasing inventory stock for water. Okay, 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 okay. So they want us to do this uh, weaver's place. Is that going to benefit from being not, I mean, tailoring shop? It is going to benefit from being near these things. Okay. Boom. Roady road. Nice. Uh, and then uh, more water is what I think I heard. So let's get a water jetty on this side. Like so. A little, another little bit of the roadie road. Like so. Perfect. Love it. I love that there's that we built in between the two water sources as well. Hopefully, if something contaminated one or whatever, might not affect the other one. There's another one over here too, so that's good. Let's go tailoring workshop. Nearly done. We got more workers. If the settlement is contaminated we have a and our settlers are unprotected, that can mean the end of the settlement. Oh no! The protective clothing we've just produced is truly a blessing. Let's it go. It is issued to the settlers automatically. Nice. Our fears have been confirmed. The radiation levels oh, are no, rising sharply. Oh no, radioactive rain. The higher the radiation level in a particular zone, the better we have to protect our settlers. If the residents are uh -oh. not adequately protected, their exposure to radiation will rise. Okay. Excessive radiation exposure will gradually kill off our settlers. Although the protection is sufficient for the time being, we'll soon need to prepare ourselves for potentially stronger radiation. Okay, and this is where the time pressure is going to come from. Whether from radiation, poor supplies, or simply old age. Sooner or later, oh no. we'll have to say farewell Tutorial to Tutorial for the graveyard! We need Too a place soon. where we can lay the dead to rest. Too soon! Oh god. We need a graveyard. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. Goodness me. Okay. <laughs> Survive the radiation. Four minutes, 39. So radioactive is increasing faster. Oh no. I was going to say, what does that mean for like our crops and stuff? It's going to be uh, super rough. I love this idea though of finding, so that as part of the expeditions with the trucks, I guess, is going to have us just exploring new areas. And then presumably if we survive that, we might find things like seeds. Pretty cool. One of the elements of this game, I believe, is that not every location is going to have access to all the different, you know, whether it's fertile soil or... Uh, scrap metal or, or I guess it's going to scrap everywhere but certain materials won't be as abundant or even available at all so I think you probably have to do some sort of I don't know if there's trading or, or how it goes kind of excited to find out more though let's go how much more time we got left on the uh, tutorial hour I'm having to kind of wing it a bit because of the crash I think we're around about there 
but let's just see if we survive uh look at this graveyard going in it's kind of sad <laughs> kind of sad okay thanks a lot we have an undertaker now we have a place to mourn and commemorate those who came and went before us yeah okay i think we put down roots here and we should continue to expand our settlement the next thing we should do is fire bricks and for that we need clay well isn't that convenient that there's a great big We're old clay deposit mine clay yet we lack the necessary expertise for that for some oh. advanced technologies like this we first have to accumulate the necessary oh. knowledge okay to be able to conduct research you first have to track down ancient knowledge <gasps> You can start an expedition at some of the ruins to obtain knowledge. Yes, let's go. Not every site can be explored like this. Uh, some of them, there are merely some resources to be gathered up. So to obtain knowledge, we need to a ruin that we can explore Take the, the expedition. Take and go explore the wasteland. Oh, super cool. Sooner or later, you'll find where our settlers can disembark and start an expedition under supervision. Investigate this ruin until we have earned a knowledge point. What? All clear. Which ruin? Wait, wait, what? Uh, send out a vehicle to collect knowledge points from. Engine running. Oh look, auto! There is an auto save. Saves in five seconds. What? Where were you earlier? So what does it save like every hour? Uh, Pathfinder Ruin, Scrap, and Plastic. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So it's Where telling me going? to send them over here by the looks of it. Where's the ruin that's, that's, uh, is it this one? It looks like this one. Got it. Let's go, Pathfinder. This is neat. I like this part of it. We might just cheekily go over the hour. So it looked like we sent them here, and then there was a place that we could, and then we could loot. But there wasn't any knowledge there. So now we're sending them over here to where it was pinging on the map. Because, you know, me and tutorials. Let's go. Ah. A big scrapyard there it looks awesome it's kind of cool you can click from a long way that wor that's working really well and it's not having any pathing issues or anything like that that's that's pretty awesome it's a cool little vehicle too <coughs> we've got less than a minute to survive the radiation start expedition there you go that pops up on the screen there's lots of scrap lying <gasps> around here and there's my We're little sure to dude. Find things that are still useful here. I'll do it. I didn't think this was going to be like this. This is cool. Scrap. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go over here. Uh, move. Interact with explorers. Yeah. On the road. Wait. What? Ah. Oh, okay. We'll pack it. Oh, nice. Okay. Looks like we've got some copper bars. We found some rubber gloves. On the road. Okay, so we're looking for when it gives us the little hand icon. And it's I'll slightly it. lit up. Come on, give us some knowledge. We need that knowledge, man. We need that knowledge. Stat. It's so cool you actually get out of your truck. Be crack without substantial effort. Oh, wow. We need four iron tools. We don't have the knowledge Done. for that. Okay, darn it. Maybe we'll find some. Knowledge point received. Knowledge points can be used to unlock new technologies. On the road. Let's go. I'll oh, do it. Looks like we found some glass. Oh, and an axe nice okay i'm guessing that's all this we can find here can't be cracked without substantial effort 
Okay, I think we got everything. All right, let's go. End the expedition. Our explorers uh, extensively explored this ruin and consequently received one knowledge point. We can use that to advance further up one of the research the branches. The knowledge points you've collected can be used to research new technologies. In order to research the clay pit, you'll need to use knowledge points in the economy branch. Okay. Uh, various access points to certain full screen windows such as transport routes or research are located below the map. Gotcha. Uh, research. Okay, clay pit. So you've got ecology, economy, economy, ecology, and society. Oh, look, transport routes, expedition settlements. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Okay, spend the point. Choose that one. Serves to obtain clay. Yes. Knowledge point one. Okay, how do I? How do I? Okay, I think that did it. Research. There we go. That's a bit confusing. I had to click on the padlock and then click on there. So I'll get you. Can you choose your branch you're going to invest your point in and then the actual item? Okay. Current research must be completed before new research can be started. Okay. Cool. How long does that take? Ah, oh, surprise sneeze. Oh no, I didn't want to start expedition. There's lots of scrap Don't. lying around here. No. We're no. sure to find things that are still useful here. Well, not really, because you kind of already been there. Uh survive the radiation, research the clay pit, okay. Where are we going? Um, alright, what should we should we go to this place? Loot the ruin. Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, Got that's it. neat. So you just gather that stuff up. If it's a loot run, up to the capacity of the truck. Uh, I'll take some plastic, I'll take some extra tools, and I'll take some more scrap. Cool. Got it? That's neat. This is really neat. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Abandoned car service center. Special booty and knowledge points. Requirements generator. It's hooked up to fuse box supply. It can only be used on expeditions. Okay. There's a converted buggy standing in this garage. We ought to take a closer look at it. Let's. The best would be if we tried to lower the car lift somehow. As long as the car lift is raised, we can't examine the vehicle. Oh, so that's what we need the, the generator for. The mattress hasn't been used for a while, but whoever fixed up their cars here lived here for a spell too. Sure is lonesome out here. Looks interesting. Okay, we got two iron tools there. We needed four for that other safe, right? Let's go. The mattress hasn't been used Oops. for a while. But whoever fixed up their cars here lived here for a spell too. Sure is lonesome out here. Will do. This is super cool. We got a blowtorch. I'll take this with me. Nice. We got some more stuffs. on the road I'll take this with me nice we've nearly worked up another research point nothing in that car over there on the road nothing there nothing on the roof okay so just that car thing that we can't get to on the road. What about over here, though? Can we go over here, or are we we're at this house? I suppose that makes sense. All right, let's uh, in the expedition. 
New instructions? Certain locations contain resources that can be carried off. Send a vehicle to location to loot them. Uh, load up loot from expedition. Yeah, okay. Expedition. Cool. I'm at the wheel. We got loads of stuff here. So we need a generator. Let's go. Man, I'm lucky that we didn't get enough tools. Got it. How's that research going? Uh, that's down here, right? Oh, okay, it's progressing quite well. All right, well, I think that's Engine gonna running. cover it for the first hour in the tutorial and uh, my first look, my first try. Uh, I'm super excited to try more of this. On my way. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll find some time to get some of this on the live stream. I don't know how or when. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one, folks. Uh, Pity that we had the little uh, lockup, but I guess that can All happen. Clear. Things that have just released and whatnot. Um, but since then, we've had no other hiccups. On my way. So we'll just put that down to one of those things that can happen sometimes with computers. And yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this first look. Give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, and this has persuaded you to do so, now would be a great time to press that button. All right, good vibes, everybody. I will see you in the next one.